I've got my example image here, but before we put a mask on, I need to actually crop it. So to help guide where I want to crop it to, I'm gonna make a shape. So I'm gonna choose a basic square. And then I'm just gonna drag over roughly where I want the avatar to actually be cropped to. So this looks about right. It will fill in the actual square. So I wanna go over to the fill option and just put it to transparent. And then for these outlines, I can put these to something like red so it's more noticeable. And then I'm gonna select it again and then just hold down shift and use the arrow keys just to fine tune where I want this to be. So I might wanna make it a little bit smaller just to make sure it's quite equal. And so I'm using this square just as a guide. And what I'm gonna do now is just take my image, put it down to this corner, take my actual guide, and I'm gonna align it with the top of my image. You should see it snap just like this, which is really handy. So that's what I'm gonna do. And now I'm gonna do the actual cropping on the image. So I'm gonna select the image, right click, go on crop, and then just bring in this bottom bit all the way up and then you'll notice that it actually snaps to the bottom of the square. And so we know that it's now got the same height as my guide. I'm gonna press enter, and then I'm gonna take my guide and just place it over where I want it, which is here, and then just put it down to about here. And then I'm gonna just do the exact same thing, but for the sides, right click, crop, bring them in, they will snap, and then voila, press enter. So now we've cropped the image with exactly the same proportions as my square. So I can get rid of the square because I don't need it anymore. And I'm just gonna select my image and just make it a bit bigger. And now to actually apply the circular mask for the avatar, with the image selected, I'm gonna go back to crop, but not on the main crop button. I'm gonna go slightly to the right and do the mask image. And so this just essentially masks what your image is based on the shape. So this means I can just go to shape and then circle. And there we go. This is a perfectly round avatar. And these are perfect for most corporate presentations. And of course you could do this in Photoshop, but it will take a few minutes. And this is just a really efficient way of doing everything just within Google Slides. It's also worth mentioning here, but if I actually select the image again, you can go up here to the border the outline color. And it means that I could select, say, this blue color, or that might not look too good on this background, so maybe I will select something like yellow. And it'll add this outline. And then you can go on this border weight, and this selects the thickness. So you can add on a border as well. So there we go. I hope you found this tutorial useful. As always, please let me know if you have any comments, suggestions on this video. If you want to subscribe, that would be amazing, and I'll see you all in the next video.